So the basis or the essence of the Swadhisthana Chakra, though is aesthetics, the force and the energy of Swadhisthana Chakra is attention. If you have a wobbly attention, if your attention is one minute here, one minute there, if you have an attention by which you just can criticize others and cannot see your own faults, if you have an attention by which you show people that you are a frivolous, nonsensical person, then your guru principle is wasted. It is the effort of Sahaja Yoga that is wasted and your guru's job is also wasted. <coughs> minimum of minimum, first the attention has to be pure. But pure attention doesn't mean harshness, it doesn't mean asceticism, it doesn't mean disciplining your eyes like a blinkers of horse. But in all freedom, your attention to be concentrated. Where do we pay our attention the most? If we are honest, we can think on human level, we pay our attention to our children, to our wife, to our husbands, to our family, the relationships which are with love. So when your attention has got the compassion and the love for another person, then only you can work out the realization of others. If you have to work out the realization of others, it has to be an intense love for another person. If you don't have that intensity, you are just moving your hands, raising the Kundalini because your mother has given you powers and it's finished off. That intensity of love can only give you success with your pure attention and I think the pure attention can only love. Impure attention cannot love because all impure attention is self-oriented. I-oriented, they are not Self in the sense, spiritual-oriented. But the idea <coughs> that spirituality is love, it seems to be a new idea for many people. They think spirituality means a person who is just absolutely dry like a beanstalk and nobody can know, go near that person, nobody can communicate with such a person because that person is too pure. If the soap cannot cleanse your body, what's the use of having the soap? If the soap is afraid to come near you, then it's better not to be called as soap. So <clears throat> we come to the point that the creativity, if it is our aim, luxury, for that the attention we should purify. and to be purified with love, with compassion. And the same attention when it is filled with love and compassion 
it gives you dynamism, it gives you strength, it's untiring zeal you get. And the joy of seeing your reflection into another person is very beautiful. No words can describe it. Actually, when you give Realization to another person, what you try to see is your image in that person, as if out of an ordinary glass you are making it into a beautiful mirror, and then you want to see that. That is how you create. You create your own reflections and through the cleansing of the reflectors. Once you understand that without creativity this Guru Puja is useless for you, 